now let us go to a little more aspect and let us try to understand what is called as the local sufficiency condition but my aim is to go ahead and maximize or minimize the function subject to the budget constraint theek hai ye maine yahan pe lagrange formulate kar liya ab hum kya karte hain we differentiate lagrange with respect to n to iska differentiation ho gaya f dash x minus lambda g dash x equal to 0 but if you remember how had we defined this lambda humne is lambda ko kaise define kiya tha हमने बोला था एफ डैश एक्स बाय जी डैश एक्स इज ऑल्सो लैमडा एंड एफ डैश वाई बाय जी डैश वाई इज ऑल्सो लैमडा सो नाउ वट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम यूजिंग दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ लैमडा एंड लैमडा की ये डेफिनेशन यूज करके उसको मैं यहां पे प्लग इन कर रही हूं आई एम प्लगिंग इन हियर सो बिकॉज लैमडा इज एफ डैश वाई बाय जी डैश वाई आई एम जस्ट प्लगिंग लैमडा हियर क्लियर बेटा Up. Now, if you see, this entire function has no lambda in it. This is lambda free. This is a function of x's and y's. ये मेरे Lagrange ही है अभी भी. But this is just a function of x's and y's. This is del x by del del l by del x. ये ही है. I differentiated this with respect to x. I got f dash x minus lambda g dash x. बट लैमडा की दूसरी डेफिनेशन मैंने यूज करके आई जस्ट गॉट दिस एज द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव ये फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंडीशन आई है व्हेन यू डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स यू आर गेटिंग दिस एज योर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंडीशन क्लियर हुआ बेटा बात को तो बेटा वंस यू फाइंड द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंडीशन जब आप ऐसे निकालते हो y एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ x तो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंडीशन इज dy by dx 0 एंड सेकंड ऑर्डर में यू डिफरेंशिएट दिस अगेन एंड इक्वेट इट टू लेस देन 0 So, but if this is my first order condition, now if I have to maximize this, so I must differentiate this again and equate it to less than zero. Then it will be maximum. And if I have to minimize it, I will differentiate and it should be greater than zero. Then it will be minimum. Then it will be convex. <coughs> clear हुई है बात? Everyone is clear with this. क्या किया अभी तक? ध्यान से समझो. मैंने Lagrange form किया. Lagrange is f of x y minus lambda g of x y minus c. I went ahead and I differentiated this with respect to x. F dash x minus lambda g dash x equal to zero. <laughs> Then I use the definition that lambda is also f dash y by g dash y. So I'm just plugging this here. So now I'm saying f dash x minus f dash y by g dash y. Into g dash x equal to zero. This is my first order condition. Then I am saying that for second order condition, if I want to maximize, so I need del n square by del x square less than zero. So, ये जो मेरे first order से differentiate करके आया है, whatever I have got from my first order condition, I must differentiate this again, and that should be less than zero. So, but now my aim is to go ahead and differentiate this first order condition that I have got. अब ये बहुत ट्रिकी है दिस इज वेरी ट्रिकी वाई बेटा सो ये मेरा फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंडीशन है दिस इज माई फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंडीशन दिस इज जस्ट लैमडा लैमडा को मैंने रिप्लेस किया बेटा इमेजिन दैट आई एम जस्ट मूविंग दिस हियर इसको मैंने इसके डिनोमिनेटर में कर दिया डजेंट चेंज एनी थिंग डज इट नो क्लियर हुई ये बात क्यों किया मैंने ये बेटा So if I say, if I ask you, but what is four by five into seven? Is ko you can write now four into seven by five. Is ko yahan pe to kari sakte. It's the same thing only. So this is what I've done here. Now you see that I need to find out the second order condition. Second order condition bolta hai that when you differentiate this again with respect to x, it should be less than zero if you want a maximum. बेटा ये देखो ध्यान से यहां पे ना आई हैव दिस हियर वन फंक्शन एंड हियर आल्सो आई हैव दिस अनदर फंक्शन तो हियर आई विल हैव टू अप्लाई द प्रोडक्ट रूल बट विद इन दिस आई विल हैव टू अप्लाई द क्वेश्चन रूल आल्सो राइट आल्सो 
when you have differentiated with respect to y, it is also a function of x and y. Let me give you an example. It is a little bit of a book that has generalized. I will give you an example. Think like this. But suppose I tell you that u is equal to x square y square. Subject to px into x plus py into y is equal to m. Right, beta? So, beta, when I will form Lagrange, mujhe kya milega? x square y square minus lambda px into x plus py into y minus m. Ye milega? Beta, if I differentiate this with respect to x, to kya aega? 2x y square minus lambda px equal to 0. Clear way back? If you notice, beta, ye kya tha? What is this? This is the objective function differentiated with respect to x. But they it's a function of both x and y. It's a function of both x and y. Samaj rahe ho na? Similarly, beta, yaha pe although ye constant a gaya. But suppose imagine karo ki mera constraint aisa kuch suta. Imagine that my constraint was something like this. ऐसा कुछ constraint होता. Suppose, suppose मेरा constraint ऐसा कुछ होता. So, beta, when you would have differentiated it with respect to x, when you would have differentiated this, ये ऐसा कुछ आता. Suppose ये मेरा constraint होता. So, when I would have differentiated this with respect to x, तो क्या होता बच्चे? यहाँ पर I would have got 2x into y square into px plus py into y minus minus m nahi hota, m would have got. Ye aata. So you see that this is the differentiation with respect to x. Constraint ka differentiation with respect to x. And this is also a function of x and y. Right? Same with a lambda is what? Lambda is f dash y by g dash y. So if I differentiate this objective function with respect to y, to kya jayega? 2y into x square. If I differentiate this constraint with respect to y, kya jayega? px into x square into 2y plus py into x. So ye bhi to function of x and y hai. Ye bhi to function of x and y hai. So everything constraints ke slope, jab constraint ko differentiate kya wo bhi function of x and y hai. Jab objective function ko differentiate kya wo bhi function of x and y hai. So actually if you just go ahead and you just check this na, everything has to be a function of both x and y. General case mein. This is my first order condition. Now to find the second order condition, I have to differentiate this entire thing with respect to x. And I have to show that it is less than 0 for maximum. So, if you will differentiate if you will differentiate this again, then see this from the eye of my mind. The book has left it here. It is not going to be complicated. It is only left this theory, this differentiation. Pe hai. So, if I just go ahead and differentiate this first order condition, na, I will just go ahead and just remove all of this. So, if I just differentiate this first order condition, na, to kya hoga? differentiation of this with respect to x, ye wale part ko. Plus, differentiate this wale part with respect to x into dy. Minus. Same. Yaha pe you will use product rule. Differentiation of first function into second as it is. Second ko aise rakha differentiation of first function kiya. Plus differentiation of the second function jis mein apne aap mein question rule lagega. Into first as it is. Ye pura iska differentiation ho jayega. After, so the book also says that after you will use some some, uh, you know, you will you will go ahead and do some simplifications and some algebraically. You will apply some things. Like you will apply Young's theorem. Ko apply karoge, 
आप यूज करोगे कि डी वाई इज नथिंग बट माइनस डी जी डैश एक्स बाई जी डैश वाई ये सारी चीजों को आप जब यूज करोगे पोस्ट समल जेबरा बुक भी वहीं पे रोक के द बुक जस्ट सेज दैट पोस्ट समल जेबरा यू विल गेट दिस एंड फ्रॉम एनी पॉइंट ऑफ एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओनली दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट तो ये क्या बोलता है ये बोल रहा है दिस इज सेइंग दैट आफ्टर सब सम एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन यू विल फाइनली गेट दिस दिस फॉर्म इस इस डिटरमिनेंट का सॉरी इस मैट्रिक्स का डिटरमिनेंट विद दिस बेटा यहां पे नेगेटिव साइन है नेगेटिव इज ऑलरेडी देयर अब हमें ध्यान से सीखना है वेन आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर कॉन्केव That means I want to have less than zero. I want to go for concave. I want to have less than zero. But less than zero के लिए negative sign तो already है ना. So negative should be multiplied with something positive. तभी तो answer negative आएगा. So I want that ये जो मेरा determinant है, whatever this determinant is, this determinant should go ahead and it should be positive. क्योंकि पॉजिटिव इंटू समथिंग पॉजिटिव इंटू समथिंग नेगेटिव आउटसाइड नेगेटिव बार ये विल बी नेगेटिव एंड इफ इट इज नेगेटिव डबल डेरिवेटिव इज नेगेटिव इफ डबल डेरिवेटिव इज नेगेटिव तो ऑटोमेटिकली मैक्सिमा सो इफ द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस मेट्रिक्स इज पॉजिटिव देन यू हैव अ मैक्सिमा एंड इफ द डबल डेरिवेटिव इज नेगेटिव देन यू हैव अ मिनिमम क्लियर हुई है बात बिकॉज यू ऑलरेडी हैव दिस नेगेटिव साइन आउटसाइड दिस मेट्रिक्स इज कॉल्ड एज द बॉर्डर्ड हेसियन मेट्रिक्स एंड एवरीथिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डू अराउंड दिस विल बी अराउंड दिस बॉर्डर्ड हेसियन आपको बॉर्डर्ड हेसियन ही चेक करना होगा अब हम क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं क्वेश्चन से इजी हो जाएगा सब कुछ सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड